Hi there everyone, Merry Christmas and welcome to Vlogmas days four and five because we're amalgamating. I'm saving you time and you know, it's what I need to do. So thank you for joining me and thanks to everybody who's been entering my giveaways so far and all my new subscribes. It's so great to have you on board and thank you so much for giving me such great interesting varied answers. I really enjoy seeing what everyone says because I've had so many different responses and it makes me feel like I'm getting to know you all which is wonderful. So today what have I been up to yesterday and today? To be honest I'm not even sure I can remember yesterday. Hasn't wasn't too good. So we didn't go out, we stayed in, he slept a lot, I managed to get the videos up, I think, and that was about it, and then we ran out of time and energy, and we, oh, we tried to have an early night, fell asleep about nine o'clock, I think, and then woke up and probably got into pyjamas and stuff and took medication just before 12. Five o'clock, he's up bouncing around, he's like, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, I'm like, I was asleep, go back to sleep. No. <laughs> So we had a rather early start, which then led to going back to sleep because it wasn't enough. And <laughs> yeah, weird day. And then we've been having this ongoing issue with our electricity. A little bit of back history. This is the vlog part, okay? So when we came to view the property, we were told that the solar panel on the roof would provide electricity, enough electricity that some of it would go back to the grid, but we wouldn't be able to get the money from that. But we'd be so lucky because it would cover most of our electricity costs. And as the property was all electric, that was great. I was not going to take an all electric property because, you know, electricity is like 15 pence, sort of around 15 pence, could be more, could be less kilowatt hour and gas is like five or six pence kilowatt hour so it's quite a lot more expensive so yeah that's one of the things that convinced us to take the property now as we've been going through the months and we've been looking at our bill we've got a smart meter it was just put in when we moved in because it's a new build our meter was just going up and up and up and we're like what is going on and at the moment we're spending on average five pounds a day that's 150 pounds a month and in our flat we were spending at this time of year about 40 pounds a month 40 to 50 and we knew it was going to cost more here but what we didn't realize here is that the solar panel is only for heating water so the water goes up into the solar panel if the sun is hot it heats it and it comes back down and then goes into our tank for us to use in the shower but if it doesn't heat it then we have no hot water which is what's been happening We've been told to use the immersion heater every day every day can you imagine it nobody's supposed to use the immersion heater every day that's just crazy so that's costing a lot of money and also we don't have any electricity even though we've been told it was electricity now they've realized that it's not electricity that the solar panels producing anyway so some chaps were going to come round today and and talk to me about things i think they're going to tell me again have i looked into changing my uh tariff yes i am on the cheapest tariff i can find why don't I try an Economy 7 tariff? Because I can't find one that actually works out cheaper than what we're using at the moment. Plus, we don't have storage meters or anything, and the water, it takes two hours to heat up. I mean, even though it's an immersion heater, and usually my previous experience, immersion heaters are quite quick because they only heat up a small amount of the water, but ours is set up really bizarrely. It heats up at the bottom of the boiler rather than a bit of water at the top. So it takes two hours to heat up the hot water to have a shower. Um, but after that you don't need it on so having it on all night until we wake up would not be a good idea and then having to set an alarm go to sleep set an alarm to wake up to turn it off I don't know economy 7 I don't think is the one for us what is the one is the solar panel that actually makes electricity <laughs> or I don't know what other solutions we're going to come up with anyway they were supposed to come around today called about midday to say they were coming and then at half past three they were like oh actually we're stuck in traffic we're not coming I was like oh gee I only waiting in all afternoon for you guys but in the meantime we were doing a bit of tidying up and stuff that we needed to get done so it was kind of inspiring having people come around I swear that's the only thing that gets us to tidy up having people coming around anyone else have that <laughs> so we decided to go and do a bit of decorating which I have a bit of video to show you it's not been entirely successful as we have still got so much mess so you can enjoy that here. Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas day four, or at least this segment of my Vlogmas video. I need to do some decorating for Christmas, so we're gonna do some outside stuff, or at least I'm gonna show you. 
the excitement of making lights glow. I think it's pretty exciting because if you just look around behind me, it's not looking very Christmassy. I have got my poncettias here and I've got one here, but the rest of the room is just a bit dull and actually quite messy. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Got to get the stuff out of the loft, got to measure some lights. I've got some new lights. Because we moved, um, we need new lights for outside because we didn't have an outside to decorate for. So while they're on sale in Tesco, they're at half price, I've got some lights on a timer because I'm hoping that'll mean that I don't have to worry about switching them on and off. They're on for like six hours a day. I think that's pretty good. But we've got to measure to see if they're gonna fit outside. It's my so. front door. And we've got this like stained glass effect stuff that we got from b &M. It was only like a pound or something, and then you get a little scraper thing. Basically, otherwise, because people could see straight into a house otherwise, but I'm not sure if I put lights on the inside, if anyone is gonna be able to see that from the outside. So I'm just gonna tack them up and then we will see. Okay, so right here we go. The door is perhaps done. We'll find out in a minute. We might have to stick a few more bits down to try and get the lights to stay on the inner part of the door. Why do they always want to go where you don't want them? Right. Ooh, we have lights. Even if you can't see them from outside, I might leave them there because they look quite pretty. Lights are always best with the lights out, aren't they? Right. This is the front of our house at the moment. We've got these two very cute little trees. The light's quite difficult at the moment, but hopefully you can see them sparkling there. And this is what the front door would look like. It's actually quite weird because it's coloured stuff in the glass. The lights look like they're actually different colours, even though they're white they're lights. Window, yeah. So it looks like we've got coloured lights up in the window, which is interesting because red, blue, green, yellow. In our bathroom over here, we've also got the same, but over here we haven't. So maybe we should put coloured lights up over there so that all the windows look the same. We figured out that we didn't quite have the right amount of lights and we need to do some stuff in the daytime. But we did get some up. That's one side, but the other side we don't quite have a long enough set for but that's okay before we did that oh, i've just remembered i went to the post office to try and send some of your items now what does it mean to you guys when they say they're closing at 7 30 doesn't it mean they're closing at 7 30 no apparently i should have known that they need to close at least 15 minutes before the closing time like why would i know that it's a uh, post office within a like a news agent type place like a little shop in the village where my parents live, the post office park closes at six, but the shop stays open till 10. Other places, the post office stays open as long as the shop is open. Last time I used that post office, the guy was super friendly and helpful and processed my stuff. This time he said, I've got places to go tonight. So even though we're not closed yet, I'm not gonna do your stuff because it'll take me over 7.30 exactly. He's like, you know, 10 minutes isn't enough. I was like, oh, right, okay. So, sorry guys, I was gonna send out your parcels today. I don't mind, but he saw us walking in. My husband's got all these parcels and I'm trying to hurry him to get him in the shop. And he saw us, he was outside and he could have said, oh, by the way, the um, post office part is closed. But he didn't say that. He then went and stood in the post office area and looked as if he was waiting for us to speak and we did speak and then he said, I'm closed. And I was like, oh, cause you're there. He's like, well, no. I'm not trying to be rude, but I need at least 15 minutes before closing to pack up everything. It just really drives me nuts that when people are supposed to be open till a certain time and they're not open, it's happened, you know, with restaurants and all kinds of things. If you're meant to serve till 11, then serve till 11, or at least serve at 10 o'clock. That's a whole hour before you're supposed to close. <sighs> okay, now I've got that off my chest, shall we do some unboxing stuff? Glossy box first, day numero four. I do love their shiny boxes. I quite like this theme, you know, brown, white, gold, pink. It's quite attractive. Oh, Philip Kingsley product. Had a few of these. There we go. Had a few of these over the boxes. 
Mostly elasticizers though, not a bodybuilding conditioner for fine, limp or flyaway hair types. That's not me, but that is my mum. So I think that she's gonna get this as a little present for her. Yep, yep, that sounds good. It's always a bit of a gamble with things like that, isn't it? Because if you are not the one, like who has that hair, like I don't have that hair, then it's not gonna be useful. I guess at least at Christmas time, there's a chance that other people might have it. Sorry if I'm getting caught by the light. I'm sitting really close to it at the moment because of space stuff. As you've seen in my video, everything's a mess. Oh, glossy box day five. Now, doesn't this look like either a cigar or a tampon, especially when it says MDM flow? Really makes you think of tampons. That's such a weird name. Greater than it says on the back or the front, I don't know. Greater than mascara. Oh, that's quite an interesting barrel. So it's like fatter on the end, thinner in the middle, and a bit bigger at the bottom, but not as big as, as the top. Interesting. It's very shiny and nice. Ooh, Glam Glow. You can never have too many Glam Glow products. So this is what the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. Is this the one that comes out silver? Oh, it's got, a, it's got a foil on the end. I love Glam Glow. I don't think there's anything that from them I've tried that I don't like yet. Yeah, that's great. This is small. Ah. Is this one? BBB London. BBB London? Yeah, do them. Ultra Slim Brow Definer. Okay. Indian chocolate. That comes out that colour and it's really nice and thin. Oh, why is this light? Really nice and thin. I like that. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. That is not going anywhere. That is staying with me. Christmassy, we've got Christmas trees all over this one. Amazon time. James Reed Gradual Tan Sleep Mask Tan Face. Had this before, I've never used it. This is going straight in the pile because I just won't use it. But I'm sure other people will really appreciate this. I've heard it's supposed to be quite good. And I always get really concerned that if I make my face browner, then the rest of me won't match and I'll look funny. I think this is perfect for people, right, who tan the rest of their body but because of their makeup, their face doesn't tan. So their face always ends up paler than their body. So then you would use this to even them up. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Look, we have like a Robin Red vest in the pine trees. What is this? Oh, Max Factor Epic Force Lash. It's gold and black, so the light is shining off it atrociously. Looks fancy pants though. Oh wow, it's like a torture device, look at that. Got a spiky old end and a big fat middle. So there it's like flat and there it's wide. Oh, I feel like I need to look that one up with how to use it. All kinds of lash creating stuff. That might be interesting to test actually. Two mascaras. That's a funny old day, isn't it? Two mascaras. So today I am going to do my first international giveaway. And up for things are this Matte Me Sleek Lipstick in Birthday Suit that just popped out of one of the boxes, uh, advent calendars the other day. And this Super Fan Mascara from Smashbox. It looks like, well, that's the packaging. I could show you there. And it looks like that, the packaging. And the brush looks like that. I'm just doing these items because they're small and light and I easy for me to send without costing too much so I'm just going to pop these in an envelope so to be fair to the international subscribers because they have had no chance so far to win anything because I haven't let them I am going to give everybody who is out of the UK a double entry so if you don't live in the UK and you would like to win these items then state which country you live in and I will put your name in twice to give you more of a chance to win. I think that is pretty fair. Is that okay with everybody? I hope so. Because, you know, it's not. I'm not going to be doing the international ones every day. So I thought that would make it a bit fair. This is going to be for the fourth now. Hmm. It's for calling birds, right? So what is your most favourite or least favourite feathered friend? For calling birds, that's my thing that is to win these. Next items that are going to be in day five's giveaway are 
this from Bubble Tea. It's what we got in Look Fantastic, the Dark Wonder Bath Bomb, which does smell really good. But I think somebody out there will really enjoy that. Also, some Zeru Towel Off Shampoo, Foam Shampoo in Coconut. Cleans and refreshes without water. Special treat from Clinique, this two-in-one micellar gel and light makeup remover. Hopefully somebody will enjoy that. And this OPI nail polish that is in the colour Lavender to find courage. I think somebody will enjoy that. So four things in that little haul there that somebody can win. And it's five golden rings. So tell me about a ring or a piece of jewellery, if you don't have a ring, that you really like or that means something to you, was given to you or that you'd like to have in the future perhaps, tell me about some kind of ring. And if it's not about a jewellery ring, it could be something else, like Lord of the Rings, you know? Be inventive. I've had some really inventive answers so far. So that's the two giveaways. Tomorrow's giveaway will be a cruelty-free one, so watch out for that with extra special rules. If you want to know the rules about giveaways, then head to video one or look in the description box and everything will be explained. If you want to enter this one, the international one, then put a picture of a bird on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook as your extra entry. And for this one, is there a ring? Yeah, there is an image of a diamond ring, so pop that down on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook if you um, are doing an extra entry there as well to win yourself some more goodies. I'm enjoying this goodie giveaway. I like to see the stuff being packed up, it's quite fun. I really enjoy um, wrapping things and parceling things up actually. Yeah, fun for me. Now, the last bit that you guys would really like to know about, I know what it is, who's won the last two giveaways? So Hand of Destiny is actually having a little sleep right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a number randomly and that is going to correspond I've just got all the names in a list and the first name is number one etc etc down the list I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten people in the ASOS giveaway and one two three four five six seven eight people in the day three giveaway right I just pressed it between one and eighty two just to see I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but I'm going to try and generate a number right there. And what did it come up with? Did it come up with a number? Oh, it's still going. It's still generating. Come on. Hold on one second. We're having technical difficulties. It was a lot easier just picking it out of the box, wasn't it? The result is blank. I've got a new one. Hopefully that's a bit bigger as well so you can see. So if I press enter, it's giving me a number, number two. So second down on my list here is Jade Amber. Congratulations Jade, you have won yourself the contents of this ASOS box. Yay! Love it. Right. Now, the next one is between one and eight. One and eight. Right. Uh. Ow. One and eight. Oh. Five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Kerry Palmer, you have won the other goodies. All of these things that are in this envelope, the wipeout cloth and all the other things. So congratulations. Please get in contact with me, either Instagram, Facebook, whatever, or email a life and high definition at gmail.com. And I will try and get all those things posted out to both of you guys as soon as I can. Yay, more winnings for more people. Makes me super happy. I think that's all I have to say. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to do more decorating and you'll be able to see the result of more Christmassy things. We found the loft key today, so we're actually able to get the Christmas decorations out of the loft. Oopsie, don't lose your loft key when all your decorations are locked away. It's not a good idea. And I think that is all I have to say for today. Thanks so much for watching and until I see you next time, if you live every moment well, enjoy your December. Merry Christmas. <laughs>